If you're looking for a tutorial on how to send Instagram DMs to send information like your webinar, your registration page for your funnel, your summit, your freebie, whatever it is, but you want to use DMs automatically without having to have a human behind it, this is the tutorial for you. If you're new here, my name is Ana Andrea and I am the irresistible experience creator. I help coaches and experts like you create irresistible experiences online using virtual events and automation. So let's get started with this tutorial. Let me share my screen. Hi, and welcome to the Irresistible Marketing Lab YouTube channel. My name is Ana Andrea, and I will be your host. In this channel, you will learn how to create momentum in your business by designing virtual events with automated communication. You will also find tutorials on digital marketing strategies and my favorite tools so that you can make a bigger impact in this world. Let's get started. So I'm assuming that you already have connected your Instagram account and now you're ready to create that keyword that will trigger every time that people send you a DM and they will receive your freebie, okay? In this case, we're gonna use the freebie as an example. I am gonna show you here how to do a very, very simple conversation. It doesn't have to be super complicated. All you need to do is you gotta go to the automation tab here on ManyChat. Make sure you have a ManyChat account. If you don't have one, in the description below, there's gonna be a link and then you just go here to automation. If you haven't connected the channel, make sure you go to home insights and connect the channel first. The channel meaning Instagram, okay? Now here is, as you can see, I have a lot of folders and that's how I keep my bots organized. So I do recommend that you create a new folder and let's name it Instagram DMS and then create it and then click on it and then you see there's nothing there. Then we go to new flow. We go here to where it says start from scratch. And all these templates can help you and you can look at them later and go investigate. But this is just a very, very basic keyword triggered for Instagram. So if you want to send your checklist, your ebook, your webinar, your summit information, it works for everything. Okay, so in this case, we're going to be sending the freebie. So freebie, G, I don't know, you can call it whatever you want. Make sure that the names are long enough so you understand. And as the starting step here, we're going to add the trigger for Instagram for the Instagram keyword. Now, it would be for your freebie, so you could use the word freebie, you can use the name of the freebie, or if it's a checklist, you do a checklist. If it's a workbook, you do a workbook. If it's an ebook, you get the gist, right? Of course, don't have all these keywords unless you wanna have five different keywords to send the same message. Now, in this case, it's a checklist, so we're gonna leave checklist there, and the message contains checklist, or the message is. Click on the message is checklist. So you teach your audience that they have to send that word only. And then you click on create. Okay, now we go here to choose the first step and we're gonna choose Instagram. We have to keep it all cohesive. Very, very simple message, okay? On Instagram, we cannot use the first name snag here from the breaks. I mean, we can use it, but it's going to use the usernames of your Instagram audiences and not everybody uses their first name there. So I rather not use it and we can ask for their name later, okay? Or you can ask for the name right now. Now that is a more advanced flow and that's not what I'm here to teach you today. Do a very simple message and say, hey, I am so excited that you are here to grab a copy of the checklist make your virtual events irresistible and add some emojis. I like to add the fire emoji or the heart with the fire, but in this case, I don't have access to that one real fast. Click on the button below. This is a very, very simple message. It's straight to the point. It's not spammy at all and we can add the button here and say give me the freebie and 
open to a website and we can send them directly to the website because I already have the funnel made and you can just send them there and always tag use an action here and create a tag in my case I like to use since I have different channels I like to use FB for Facebook IG for Instagram TL for Telegram at the beginning of the tag so I know where the user has been on my flows. And this is for future reference. And I say interested in the checklist because I don't count this as an actual lead yet because they haven't really subscribed. Now you can create a flow so that they subscribe here and they get the checklist directly here on Instagram if that's what you want. But that's a more advanced tutorial. And this is a very basic one where we created a checklist and we created a keyword and then we created a message. We can introduce the name of the bot. My name is Cat the bot. And I'm so excited, blah, blah, right? And then click on the button below. And you can do the breaks like this so it looks better. That's what I would recommend for you to create a very simple Instagram flow with keywords. So every time that you tell your audience you're in Clubhouse and you tell them, send me the word checklist, my bot will send you the link. And this is how they receive the link. If you are on Instagram and you're on an Instagram Live or you're doing a reel or a post, you can tell them to send you a DM with the word checklist. Now, there are other triggers that include comments, and this would be a great example of a message that can be sent through comments. We can add the trigger here. If you don't do complicated messages and you don't use user inputs, you don't use images, you know all that, you can use the Instagram comments and the Instagram live comments trigger as well. It could be for a specific reel and you can add the same, the same keyword triggers, okay? We select the publication, we select it. Now it has to be post that you've already done or your next publication. Now you have a pro account for it to be the next publication. We also had to create reply in comments. Okay. You got to create random responses that you're going to get in the comments and then they're going to get the DM. So it's two sided, right? Great. Check your DMs. Now have another one. Cool. I will slide in your DMs and then like add since my bot is cheeky and she's sexy and she has this cool personality, I can say things like that, right? Make sure that you keep it in your personalities. Now it gave me, when I click on save, it gave me this error because I hadn't added the trigger yet and I need to click here. Bam. See, now when I click here, you see how all these other things disappeared? It's because we cannot send more things there but a simple message and then we have to make sure that this is turned on it says publish it says the first message eh, must have specific content type so it has a specific content type and I don't understand why it's not there we go now the trigger has been selected and now we can publish and it says that this flow may get blocked, but don't be scared. This is not going to happen. You just got to make sure that you click here on the use a reply to Instagram comments. So that doesn't get blocked. Okay. Make sure you do that. And that's how you create a very simple keyword reply. And you can use different starting triggers for your Instagram I hope that you like this. I hope that you use it. It's very, very simple, but very effective. So you don't have to have your VA do this for you, or you don't have to be answering to 100 messages yourself. If you like this video, make sure that you like it, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I am always here creating content to help you create irresistible experiences online. My name is Ana Andrea, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.